Hey, my name is Mark Spencer. Uh, I was a police officer for 25 years with the Phoenix Police Department. I'm currently the Southwest Projects Coordinator for Judicial Watch. Um, believe it or not, police work is a full contact sport. And you're bound to get hurt. Uh, and that happened. I'd been rocked and bottled and shot at and punched and spit on. You name it, it's come my way. Injury is just a part of the job. And so what was unusual, uh, Maybe eight years after I had retired, I encountered another, if you want to call it an injury, uh, it's a thing called multiple sclerosis, or maybe it encountered me. Um, it did damage to me that went well beyond any damage that I encountered in police work, uh, severe nerve damage. Um, it started on January the 8th. By the end of February, if you want to call it walking, you can't. I could barely hobble and certainly couldn't run. Uh, I talked to two sources about what to do because the doctors at that time weren't quite sure what was going on, whether it was a virus or multiple sclerosis. They weren't quite sure. Uh, so in the meantime, I needed something to treat the issue, solve the problem, uh, make things better, uh, repair some damage that had been done. I talked to jo Dr. Jane Orient. She uh, was a director uh, down at the VA in Tucson and treated wounded veterans uh, specifically uh, with uh, traumatic brain injuries. Uh, what's your counsel, doctor? And the first words out of her mouth were not drugs, but hyperbaric. Hyperbaric. You need to take a dive in the tank. Uh, in fact, you can come down here, Mark. If you did it three times a week for a month or two, you'd know, f see phenomenal things take place. My counsel to you, per Dr. Orient, it's hyperbaric. And I appreciate her counsel. Uh, she's a friend and, and I understand where she's coming from because she has multiple sclerosis too. Uh, the other second call that I made was to a friend I went to NAU with. Uh, he's a physical therapist. And that's where the medical profession meets the road. He, <laughs> the doctors determine what's wrong. It's the physical therapist that gets it back on the road. No disrespect to anyone. So I had asked Jim, I said, Jim, what would you do? And first words out of his mouth, hyperbaric, hyperbaric. And he, he gave two reasons for that. And, and it didn't matter what the doctors say. My knee-jerk reaction is I'm going to do what Jim tells me to do. And I had said, Jim, the doctor said hyperbaric, what do you think? He said, do it. Why, Jim? He said, well, I'll give you two reasons why. First reason, all the professional athletic teams are transitioning to hyperbaric. They see the value in it. You have athletes buying their own and bringing them home and going to sleep. It is, it is so therapeutic uh, and just revives and re-energizes and repairs the damage that professional athletes encounter. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you. And I said, well, what's your other reason, Jim? He said, well, you remember thousands, hundreds of thousands of year ago, years ago, you, you had these critters walking the earth called dinosaurs. And they were huge, and what was also huge was the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere at that time. As the oxygen decreased, it's interesting, the animal size decreased. There's something therapeutic and beneficial to oxygen. If you can get that under pressure, Mark, that's the name of the game. Uh, so um, I had done some research and, and wound up here at uh, RxO2. Um, I'll never forget it. As a police officer, we value this concept called reasonable. If something is reasonable, it's worth looking at. We also value a thing called evidence. If you can prove it, if there's something to back it up and it's reasonable, there's value in it. Uh, there's value whether it's an arrest or there's value whether it's a medical treatment. If it's reasonable and it can be proven, it's probably worth looking at. And so I will never forget the my first time here was on a Thursday. The day before on Wednesday, I could not run. I could barely walk because of the nerve damage. By Friday, after the hyperbaric treatment, I could run again. Uh, as I progressed through three treatments every week for maybe two months, within the first two weeks, I could feel nerves, specifically nerves in my mouth, 
that had been damaged coming back online, like I was eating Pop Rock candy. It was just fascinating. I, mind you, I, th th there, there's value in drugs, in pharmaceuticals, there is. But there's also value in a proper diet, there's value in exercise, but I think what facilitates all three of those, I found, is to be hyperbaric. It just ramps up the potential of all the other three. Uh, it's been nothing but effective. If I had to go to court and bring a case against hyperbaric <laughs> to say it works, <laughs> uh, I think I'd win the case. I'm sure I would.